Hi, you might find yourself looking at Google and YouTube late at night uh, at the moment. And one of the problems is um, Google and the YouTube site use a lot of white space and it's really glaring late at night. Um, you can use browser extensions to change the appearance of sites. And a lot of people did use a extension called Stylish a few years ago, I think. But then they found out they were selling every link that you visited to um, some advertising company. Um, so if I look at um, Google here, you'll see it's uh, really bright. And um, if I come across to YouTube, um, yeah, it's even recommending one of my own videos, that's nice. Um, you can see when you play it, there's a lot of white space around here and it's really sort of quite glaring late at night. Um, so what you can do, instead of um, using a browser, you know, like Chrome or something, if you use Firefox, you can actually alter the appearance of um, websites using a custom style sheet. So if I come across to um, uh, Firefox, this is the Google in um, Google in Chromium, and I'll come across to Firefox, um, and I'll come to the same search result um, in Firefox where I'm using a custom style sheet. And you can see the difference between this page here and um, this one here uh, late at night, especially if you're switching. Um, here, here's a terminal. If I'm switching between these windows, which are really dark, um, and then suddenly I switch to one of these ones at, late at night, it's really glaring. So um, what you can do with Firefox is create a custom style sheet, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, and basically this is um, Google in Firefox, where I've applied um, the Solarize theme in my style sheet. And um, the other thing that was really annoying me late at night was YouTube. Um, so what I've done is um, use the same technique to go through and um, alter the background and the colour of text and um, you can see here we've got sort of thumbnails around stuff. Um, so if I search for one of my videos for instance, um, so I can play it without having the video taken down. Um, And you can see here all the um, I've changed all the colours. Um, and if I come across and open one of the videos, um, basically, you see what I've done here is I've changed the background um, and also added a slight border around the player. You can see if you look closely at the edge of the screen, all my windows have a slight border because um, I'm using the um, DWM window manager and that's how I've got that set up with little borders around there. So I've put a little border around um, the video player to um, to match that and also I find it just helps the video pop out a bit more. Um, the other thing I did was I changed all the text colour from a dark black to a, a light grey and put uh, borders around all the thumbnails. Um, so I just find at late at night it's a bit easier to, um, to watch. Um, come across you can see this is all <laughs> you can see I obviously like blue um, but if I come across um, just to the main screen you can see uh, it's just a bit less glaring than um, looking at that uh, late at night which is quite straining on the eyes um, so I find that's a bit easier to look at late at night so um, the way you do this is um, you have to be running Firefox. And what I did was um, I actually created, I created a Git repository of my settings and um, the steps you need to do in Firefox to um, add the user style sheet. Um, so if you come across to um, this repository here, I'll leave a link under the video. Basically in Firefox what you need to do is press Alt to show the top menu and then click help troubleshooting information. So um, Alt, help, uh, we come down here, troubleshooting information. And if I come across here, um, click the show folder button beside the profile folder entry. Um, okay, so the profile, profile directory. And here's a, a, um, uh, a file manager um, on this computer. So normally 
if you're you know running Linux or something, you, you'll have a desktop environment with a file manager and clicking that button would open that file manager to that folder. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, show you the location of this folder um, on Linux and Unix and um, you actually need to create a, another folder inside this called Chrome and that's where you'll add the um, style sheet. So if I come across to Terminal um, and the folder is in Mozilla, .mozilla and then Firefox and then here you'll see um, inside .mozilla Firefox um, several fold um, several there's two files and there's a folder because I've just got one one profile um, and this is the profile um, so that's the um, Firefox profile and you can see here I've got a folder called Chrome and I had to create that folder um, and once you do that um, I've actually got this set up as a symbolic link um, to um, the Git repository. So basically what you do is, the um, best way to do this is you create the folder and then you put your style sheet in and then you can, um, well you create a Git repository with the style sheet and you then create a symbolic link to this location. And that way you can update stuff in Git and it will be updated in Firefox and you'll have the settings backed up. So what you do is, as I say, you create the um, Chrome folder in your Mozilla Firefox profile directory. Um, so once you've done that, and say here, here's the instructions. Basically, the next step is um, you create the style sheet, and um, what you can do if I open the um, style sheet here. The way it works is um, you can actually use this syntax at dash mods dash document domain and then the domain um, and then you have um, the sort of you know curly brackets or braces or whatever they're called um, and in there you'd have the um, CSS rules to affect different parts of the page. Um, you can also um, use this to change the new tab and new URL um, tabs in Firefox so for instance when I open new tab in Firefox it's um, got this background set um, and that's using this bit up here you can basically set the background color of um, Firefox's new tab um, but this section down here this is how you set um, style sheets for a particular domain and the most important thing is say for example here I'm overriding the body um, what what you do in CSS style sheets is you can separate all the rules by a comma so for instance if we wanted to um, set the background color of multiple el elements on the page the same background color um, we could put all those in separated by commas instead of writing the rule out multiple times and the most important thing you do when you do this is um, you set the background color and then you need to do this um, exclamation mark important and basically what that does is that sets it so that the user style sheet in Firefox overrides any style sheets um, on the website so your style sheets will all, always override whatever um, is on the website and so basically what you need to do, for instance, is um, you come across in the website you want to alter and you have to come across and go inspect element. This may take a second in my um, computer. I did, for some reason it's um, really slow at the moment showing the, the actual element, um, but you could see there it was um, showing that bit selected Okay, down here. You can see the um, the ID and the class, um, and over in this section, you can see the colours and everything set. So basically, you find the um, the ID or the class name, and then in the style sheet, you can then put that in and override it with you know a colour, um, background colour, a border, a colour for the text or whatever. Um, so that's how you can basically come through. 
and um, select different parts of the page um, and then basically you know for instance I added a uh, border here a sort of slight um, grey border which is uh, part of the solarized theme but um, when I go into um, the actual video you'll see I've got it set up as I said before so that these are all grey well, this has got a, a, a little blue board around it, so this has got more focus. Um, and then basically you can come through and you can, you know, select different parts of the page here um, that haven't been affected and you have to go through and um, add those um, styles to your style sheet. Um, so if I come down here, for instance, that, that was the settings for sort of Google and this is basically the settings I've got down here for um, YouTube. Um, at Moz document domain youtube.com and then basically as I said selecting different elements on the page by their um, CSS ID or class name um, and grouping them together um, by a comma um, and then applying um, one rule to all those elements at the same time and the most important thing in is the most important thing is the important tag here um, so you can go through and basically select all the different elements um, and you know then change the color um, add a border <coughs> it's just um, it's just basically a matter of going through and um, you know selecting all the things you want to change on the page um, and then um, using different bits of CSS um, which is beyond the scope of this video um, you know you, there's something you can read up on um, and one thing I would I have noticed is that um, what you need to do sometimes is rather than refreshing the actual page you're um, working on. So if you're um, editing in the CSS file um, and you don't see the changes when you refresh, what I found is it's better to actually copy the link and put it in a new tab. Um, and that seems to load it up completely, whereas even just refreshing um, the current tab doesn't actually um, seem to show the changes that, um, immediately or maybe you know you need a few goes um, so that's that's how you can change um, uh, Google from uh, from having a you know being really white like this late at night you can change it to be a bit more easy on the eyes and um, also I can change YouTube for me a bit bright I don't know for some reason it always shows me like wrestling videos or boxing for some reason I've no idea why um, I must have clicked a link once and now it thinks I'm some kind of bodybuilder or something um, so you can change YouTube from this um, something like this um, uh, only took a couple of minutes to go through and find the tags to change um, there's some stuff here which um, might be you know um, image you know these might be actually images or something I haven't actually gone through and changed these but some of these things might actually be um, you know images you can't change the color on um, and also I kept the search thing here so you've got to be careful that you're um, targeting elements you know quite specifically otherwise you might you know suddenly have a blue background here or something and white text and you can't read it or something um, so that's basically how you can um, use Firefox um, to change the look and feel of um, any website um, using the user content .css file um, which has got a syntax that allows you to target um, stuff on different domains so you can basically go through any website that's annoying you um, any color scheme you find a bit glaring um, for instance uh, you know if you wanted to you could come through and um, you know change all this stuff on slash dot um, if you find that annoying um, make it a bit easier and <laughs> um, you know less glaring late at night um, but you can basically go through any site and um, just using this syntax at moz document domain and then the domain and um, you can see here what you have is you can see the rule here there's a rule there that's the opening brace 
of this section and that's the closing section so you need to have that up there and that there and then the rules inside and you can you can basically group the rules together separated by comma um, and the most important thing is to have the important tag after any attribute that you're setting or trying to override um, otherwise it won't work and sometimes the um, the best way to test this is to just put in you know something that's really bright like red so you can easily see um, if the um, you know if the um, items being changed so for instance I could come across um, and um, you know change the change this to red and then if I open this in a new tab uh, you can see it's all gone red um, so that's how you can basically um, you know change anything on the page you can come through um, select all this text any of these things it's just a matter of taking the time to go through and um, select all the different elements and then apply whatever style you want um, but you, you will need to know a bit of CSS but um, you know you can do a bit of googling and, and it's you know it's not difficult um, and you can come across here um, and you know just copy some of this if you want and um, use that as a basis to um, change you know google and youtube um just come through and um, change the colors um you can see you'll have to go through and search um what these are try to sort of comment some of this stuff out um so it's um a bit easier to understand what it is just for myself anyway um but that's how you can sort of pimp your um browser um so it's a bit less glaring at night so you don't have all this will get past that bit too depressing oh no, there's more of it um, so yeah using YouTube and Google late at night in a browser like this is going to give you eye strain so um, you know switch to Firefox and um, change it create your own color scheme for um, different domains that you visit um, to make it a bit easier to look at